Obviously, anytime you talk about transplantation surgery, you're talking about a donor and a recipient. Mm -hmm. Is the donor pool large enough in the pediatric population for you to be able to get small bowel? Because it's a relatively uncommon transplant, it's only done in a few centers, the, the donor pool is small, but the population of patients getting transplants is also small. So they're relatively well matched in that sense. The challenge becomes if your recipient is very small, if it's a two-year-old child or a one-year-old child who only weighs 10 pounds or 12 pounds or 14 pounds, we typically have to get organs from a donor that's half to two-thirds the size of the recipient. Just because of sheer volume. Just to physically fit it in because our tummies, we count on having intestines to hold our abdomens open. And if we've lost our intestine, then our abdomen shrinks down to, to that smaller space. So then we don't have any room to put anything in. And you know, nobody wants to sew something in and not be able to get the abdomen closed. So we have to go a little smaller on the donors. So it's really a beautiful operation. But the most difficult part is really the beginning. And it's because when you get in, there's most of these children and adults have had many, many operations on the inside. And there's very extensive scar tissue throughout the abdomen. Sometimes it's hard to tell where you are or what you're looking at when you start. But you know, you find the path. You find a little bit that you know, and you can follow it. And one thing leads you to another. And eventually, you get to a point where you've removed, in some cases, everything and you're looking at an abdomen that's just this clean open field with major blood vessels running in the back of it where the blood's flowing. Then you bring in this new fresh organ which is cold to the touch. You know, it still feels ice cold. It's come out of the preservative solution. Someone's holding it for you while you're sewing in these delicate little sutures, bringing that in and attaching those blood vessels. But the nicest part, and I say this all the times when I have medical students and residents with me, is the beauty is when you get to the point that you take the clamps off.